Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Murka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in this, you know, last days to push this gospel in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shara'ala from the GMS Italy camp. And I wanted to do a part three to the lesson, which is titled, you know, um, pictures tell a thousand words, you know, I already did two parts in which, you know, I'd, I'd, you know, advise you to watch the first two in order to get the complete sense of everything, you know, so this is the third part, which is going to be the sheep's, you know, led to slaughter, you know, I'm still thinking of a title to give it anyway. So, you know, as I said, this is what it is, you know, I'm going to stop here and speak a little more on this. So Jake has an option to take now, you know, either go for this and continue, you know, his so-called life that he doesn't have in this kingdom or, you know, go through the straight way, the hard way and, you know, expect, you know, miracles, you know, for which these miracles have been promised to us that will definitely get them, you know, and trust them in the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Yahushai taught us, you know, not to think of what we shall eat, you know, he taught us not to think of what we wear, he taught us not to think of different things, you know. The most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai got our back, man, you know. In these days, man, man's supposed to be moving, you know, like a pilgrim. Like over here in Italy, you know, many of us, hell no, man, we ain't going for this shit, man. You know, we prefer to just lose that dead job because right behind that job, you see, there is a bait ready to hook you up, you know, and take you to the next step, which is, you know, the MO, you know. So there is always going to be a snare to Jake. And that snare is that of, you know, everyone is doing it, you know. A lot of people are doing it, you know. All my colleagues are doing it. My family have done it, you know. They're okay. Just because everyone is doing it doesn't mean you should do it, man. Just because there is a huge mass that's, you know, following this trend doesn't mean that you should follow the trend. And that's just the demise of, um, of, of Jake, man. Jake sees other people doing stuff. Jake doesn't even know what it is. They go after it. Same as religion and philosophies, you know. People get into weird shit, you know. Excuse my Italian. People get into weird philosophies and Jake see them prospering, you know, having this bread and Jake, you know, he, he goes after the bread, man. He doesn't go after the key to unlock himself. Jake is just all about the bread. It's all about the money. It's all about the money, you know. This is Jake and this is a mentality that leads you to death, man. Now, let's go to the fourth segment, which is... You know, I'm going to play this video, then we'll come back. What is it? A judoscope. Didn't you ever see one? No, what does it do? Watch and you'll find out. See, when they get to the slaughterhouse, he decks to one side and the silly sheep go in to get their throats cut. That black devil knows it. Artie? So as you can see, this is Jake, man. You know? Jake goes, of, goes after, you know, the rest are doing it. You know, that Judas goods represents, you know, a, a certain cone that's going to be kept, you know, that's their um they are their so-called celebrities, their so-called religious, stupid religious teachers, you know, these goofy Christians going to lead Jake into the slaughterhouse. What happens when the Judas goats get to a certain point, you know, Judas Judas goat goes somewhere else and Jake is led into the slaughterhouse and they all get slaughtered. And what happens? You see all these woe, 
sheep, you know, they follow because they see other sheep following. You know, this is Jake. Let's play this video one more time. What is it? A gyroscope. Didn't you ever see one? No, what does it do? Watch and you'll find out. See, when they get to the slaughterhouse, he decks to one side and the silly sheep go in to get their throats cut. That black devil knows it. <laughs> Artie? And that's the devil right there for you, babe. <laughs> And you see, none of these sheeps are actually thinking, but wait, where are they going to? What's the end? What's the end destination? None is thinking, man. They're just going because everyone is going, you know? Jake actually feels safe when he sees other people doing things. You know, when he sees a huge mass of people doing things, he feels safe, you know? Now let's get some scriptures. It's going to get a few scriptures in, you know, this is going to be a short one. And here, I think I'm going to get um, KJV. Um, what's the word I want to say? I'll just put it like this. Second is dress. Okay, this is what I need. You know, but let's go back here. So I'm going to read first from the book of Matthew chapter 7 in which is a classic I'll start from verse 13 which quotes enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it you know let's say the word straight right here oh uh, straight you know strenos so it tells you Tells you narrow. You see, from obstacle standing, close about, you know? Narrow straight, you know? Anyway, the point there is, you know, it's not a, it's not a, a comfortable road to be, you know? It's not a comfort that road, the straight way is not a comfortable way to be, you know? This place is tiny, man. This guy is not going to be comfortable to remain there, you know? He needs all this to go to the next level and everything, you know? So that road that is straight, which is the road of refusing many things, you know, which our Savior Yahushai was also tempted, you know, by the spiritual devil. Now, the physical devil is tempting us right now, you know? So many are going to go, you know, after the, 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 the mass, what the mass says and the word mass comes from death you know massa you know so you see it says enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it you know so that road that's going to lead you to eternal life is very straight and narrow. Very few are going to find it, you know. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 7. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 7. I'm going to read from verse 2. It says, And he said unto me, Up, Ezra, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I said, Speak on my power then said he unto me the sea is set in a wide place that it may be deep and great but put the case the entrance were narrow and like a river 
Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it, if he went not through the narrow? How could he come into the broad? There is also another thing, a city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. Okay, this is just giving you an analogy of what this, you know, the way that leads to life is, you know. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water and only one path between them even between the fire and the water so small that there could but only but there could but one man go there at once you know so the way that leads to life you know Ezra is actually you know um what's the word is actually um comparing it to you know a road that is very very narrow in which only one person can go at a time only one person can go at a time. On the right hand, you have a fire. On the left, you have a deep water. So if you fall, either you're going to fall off. And that's what this truth is all about. You know, many stumbling blocks lately, you know, people going off, you know, bugging themselves out, you know, for certain things they can search for, you know, people saying, you know, Babylon, the greatest, the Vatican City, you know, going off. You know, coming up with all different, you know, bugged out things. You know, they're falling off that road because that road is very, very narrow, man. So, you know, that road that leads to life is not an easy road. And it's only a few that are going to find this road. So you all should wake up from this, you know, dead philosophies of these so-called churches, you know, which these churches, these Christians are actually, you know, nothing but goofy, man. Let's get another scripture, which is the book of John. John six forty four. The book of John six chapter four, uh, chapter six verse forty four quotes: "No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him." And I will raise him up at the last days. At the last day. You know, no man can go to Yahweh Shai except the Father draws him. And these men are going to be raised on the last days, you know. But these preachers are going to tell you, hey, you know, they only preach about, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, prosperity gospel, you know. They get the best out of life. You know, it's easy, just be smart, just do what you have to do and get money and do this and do that, you know. These are dead philosophies, man. Anyway, I hope this series was, you know, edifying. I just wanted to share this and I hope it's really edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Murukah Kudash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. You know, pushing this gospel in truth and sincerity. Shalom.